The Shores of Tripoli is a game for one or two players from Fort Circle Games. And in this game, what you're going to be doing is one player is going to be taking on the role of the American forces. And one person is going to be taking on the role of the Pirates of Tripoli. And you are trying to meet one of your win conditions before the other player does. So America is trying to either form a treaty, take over Tripoli, and the Pirates are trying to get a bunch of money. Or sink some ships. Or not lose control of Tripoli. If there's a battle this is done through some really cool card play which i'll talk about later but let's just go out of the table and just kind of see how this works all right so here's a game of the shores of tripoli all set up for two players um, this is a one or two player game so if you're playing two player this is what it's going to look like one player is going to take on the role of america you have these cards here you're going to flip these three cards face up per the rules then you're going to shuffle the rest deal a hand of six one player is going to take on tripoli They'll have their, their three cards, shuffle the deck, flip six, or draw six. Then you're going to seed the board accordingly. So Tripoli is going to be set up like this. You're going to have some infantry for them in Benghazi and Dern. And America is going to have some frigates coming out in you know later years. And three frigates in Gibraltar and two Corsairs from Tripoli in Gibraltar as well. All right, so what we're trying to do here is we are trying to meet our own win condition. So the... American player has two separate cards that they can have to win. So they either need to control to win in a battle of Tripoli, which is a card, or they have to come up with a treaty against Tripoli, which can only happen at a certain time in the game. So like I think it's from 1805 on, they can meet their win conditions. Tripoli needs to either sink four American frigates or get 12 coins. That's where the coins come in. So they're basically going to be doing like some piracy to get coins. And America is just going to come in and they're going to be imperialists and they're going to bomb. That's what they do. All right. So let's just get playing. I'm not going to go over all the rules because there's a lot of stuff in the card. I just kind of want to show you what you're going to do in a turn. So on your turn, the turns are going to go like this. Every round, there's going to be spring, summer, fall, winter. So four rounds each year. You're going to play till 1806 unless somebody wins before. Each round is going to follow the same order. American player, Tripoli. Move the season. American player, Tripoli. So on and so forth. You're going to play one card or take one action, which always, rep, you know, you're always going to have to play a card to take that action. So what you can do, the American player has one of three options. You can play a card to be used as the event on the card. And if the card says so, it will be removed from the game. Or you can discard any card to take a gunship and put it in Malta. Or you can discard any card and move a frigate two spaces or I think multiple frigates uh, discard to move up to two frigates so yeah it any frigate you want as far as they want is one move move but I can move two frigates so I could go here and I could go here so on and so forth that's the three things they can do now the Tripoli player they're gonna have similar options they can discard a card to put a Corsair in Tripoli they can discard a card to um, an event just like this player did so if the card says to do it the thing you can do the thing or they can do a pirate raid so pirate raids is how they're going to be doing a lot of their actions in the short term because they need to get gold and that's how they're going to get gold so let's go ahead and play so the american players first i'm going to just play a card because i want to show you some stuff um so let's do i'm just going to discard this and i'm going to bring in a gunship into malta all right, so that was their turn. Then it's Tripoli's turn. I'm gonna bring these cards a little closer because it's hard to reach. And they're gonna do the same kind of thing. So they are going to play a card. Um, let's see, they're gonna do this. They're gonna play this card for what it does. It's gonna be out of the game because it has a lightning bolt. They're gonna put three Moroccan Corsairs, which are the orange ones, they're allies of Tripoli. And they're gonna go in Tangier. So that's what they're gonna do here. And I'll explain why that's important in a little bit. And because this card, they played it as an event, it's out of the game. All right, so now we each played a, a turn. Now we're in summer, same thing, America's turn. Um, let's see, I'm gonna discard a card. I can't do this card yet, cause I'm not there. And I am going to move a frigate here to the patrol zone and move a frigate here to the patrol zone. And I'll explain why that's important in a little bit. 
All right, and then that was their turn. I just discarded that because it didn't have to be out of the game. Tripoli's turn. We are going to do a pirate raid. So we're going to play this card to do a pirate raid. Now this is the crux of their game. So what they're going to do is a pirate raid works in a couple ways. First thing that's going to happen is if there's a patrol ship either from America or the Swedish, which is yellow, in the patrol zone outside of the harbor, they're going to try to intercept and sink a ship. So what you're going to do, each of these ships get to roll two dice. So I'll take two dice. I'm going to roll. On a six, I sink a Corsair. I got a two and a three, so I didn't sink anything. Now, what this player is going to do is they're going to... I just move them out so I know what I'm doing. They are going to be rolling three dice, and they're going to try to steal my gold. Basically, what it means is they're going to kidnap a merchant ship, and you're going to you know pay to give them back. They get to roll one die for each Corsair. If they get a five or a six, they get gold. They did not, so that raid was unsuccessful. And that is the crux of a pirate raid. Then these go back into there. And that's that. All right, so that was their turn. Moving on to fall. So they discard their card. All right, back to me. Um, I need to move. Yeah, let's have some fun. I'm going to discard this. And we're going to move two frigates. So I'll move one here, one here. And then this will come down. All right. So I'm going to get into a naval combat. So this is going to be fun. So what we're going to do... When there's a naval combat and you, there's other boats in, in the, the area, we're each going to fight. The gunship gets to join. That's the only, Their only purpose is to join to give extra dice so to make it more feasible to win. So what's going to happen is I'm going to roll five dice. Two for the fr each frigate, one for my gunship. A six is a hit, so I didn't get any hits. And then the Corsairs are going to roll four. You can also play some battle cards in your hand. I'm not going to show you that, but they have little like swords on them. Each player can play those if they want to try to manipulate. And they got nothing, so nobody gets hit. Any of the uh, blue soldiers that are in the battle, the blue American, go back to Malta, and that's that. And then it'll be the Tripoli player's turn. All right, so now it's Tripoli's turn, and they are going to do some stuff as well. Let's do... This card seems good, I think this one yeah so I'm gonna play this card Murad race breaks out move the two trip triple Tripolitan Corsairs from the harbor of Gibraltar to the harbor of Tripoli any American frigates in the naval patrol zone of Gibraltar they may make an interception roll but there isn't any so that player now has more there she should have done that before all right so that was that turn now we're on to winter Last turn of the season, and then we'll come back and I'll tell you what happens at the end of the turn, the end of the game. All right, so now it's winter. Back to America, which um, I don't know which cards I played. These, okay. All right, uh, nope, wrong cards. Play. These are my discard. All right, now I'm going to play another card. I'm going to try to do some stuff. I'm going to just play this card. I'm going to play it out of the game. So I'm going to place two American frigates on the following year track. Then I'll explain what that does at the end of this season, which is good times. All right, and then that's out of the game. All right, now it's Tripoli's turn. And I'm just gonna discard this to do another pirate raid. So I'm gonna do a pirate raid in Tripoli. There's no one patrolling. So I'm gonna roll one, two, three, four, five, six dice. Five and six, I get some gold. And man, these are terrible rolls. Twos and threes. That's terrible. So no gold. All right. So now that's the end of the year. Uh, yeah, the end of the year. So what we do is we go back to spring. This comes up. All of these ships go up to Gibraltar. You're going to redraw your hand up. You're going to draw six cards. If you have more than eight, you have to discard down to eight. So in this case, this player had to discard one. Then we're going to keep going. Um, every year, you're going to put out a new ship. If there's a ship here, so on and so forth. Uh, once you run out of cards, you're going to shuffle and then draw six. And then in the last year, you're able to look through the rest of your cards that are in your draw pile, pick whatever you want, but you still have to discard down to eight. And that's how you're going to keep playing until one of the win conditions are met. Either America has done the treaty, which looks like this, so you have to meet all those criteria, or there's the other one. They've done the assault on Tripoli, and it either results in a victory or death. America can either win there by defeating everybody in Tripoli 
or Tripoli will win. Or Tripoli has captured four American frigates, or they have gotten 12 coins, or they've won the battle of Tripoli. So that's a, a win condition for everybody. And that's how you play Shores of Tripoli. Let's go up to the top, see what we think about it. All right, well, that was the Shores of Tripoli. First off, I gotta say, this game is awesome. So I'm gonna spoil it right here up at the top. It's super fun. So this is a, a, a war game in a sense, but really it's all gonna boil down to these cards. So the crux of the game is how you wanna use these cards. Do you wanna use them as the event, which may remove it from the game? Do you wanna just discard a card to be able to build another ship or to move a ship? It's just, that's the thinky part. Like, yes, when you're removing it from the game, those powers are really powerful, but you're not gonna be able to do it again. So maybe you just wanna discard it now to do something weaker and have that other ability come in later. And you also have those three cards in front of you, which are like the big dog power cards that are just awesome. So effectively your hand size is 11, but some of the cards don't apply to certain points in the time. So you're trying to like, you know, do everything you can to get up to that certain year that you need or certain season that you need. So you can just go in and slap them around. Has really cool bits, like the ships are awesome. That's the frigate, these are the Corsairs. Dice, lots of dice, just regular dice, but they're nice. Gold coins, these awesome discs, clearly tell what they are. Everything about this game is cool. The board even looks pretty awesome. It's just like spaces with cubes in it, which is awesome. But it's easy to tell what's going on. It's easy to tell the patrol zones from the harbors. Just, I like everything about it. Rule book is super clear. It even comes with a, a history, like a historical um, background rule book. Not necessary, but awesome. So I, yeah, I can't say enough about this. Everything about this game is amazing. I haven't played it solo. I will uh, probably at some point, but I just haven't. So if you're into solo games, you can play it with this too. I'm not a big war gamer. This is barely a war game. It's an interesting card play game. A little, you know, trying to outthink your opponent, that type of thing game. But if you're a war gamer, this will probably be up your alley as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a BGM accepted seal. I wanna give this an eight out of 10 on BGG, which is a four out of five. Wrenches on our arbitrary wrench scale, that means absolutely nothing. But we have to give it to games that we enjoy, and that's what I'm gonna do. I enjoy this one. So that was the Shores of Tripoli from Fort Circle Games. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and as always, Keep gaming.